Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, Eat Healthy, Get Rich, Drink Good Beer. If you are here for the first time, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and I help college going students, university going students to get onto that property ladder and if you're a young growing adult, to pay off that mortgage. Whereas I think I am a really good educator during my day job when I teach in the university or train PhD students or doctors or whatever and I also think I'm a good educator on the weekends when I teach about stocks, crypto, cooking, introducing beers. Like today, I am drinking this Spanish beer called San Miguel. Girl, cheers. What I'm not is a financial advisor. I don't have any financial qualifications. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Now that the chicken shit is away, let's talk about what I have to reveal today. I bought some uh, cryptocurrency called EOS. Before I go into details of what this token is, what the blockchain is, let's just quickly review the crypto market and the news. Follow me on uh, Eat uh, Healthy Get Rich uh, Twitter because that's where I put my buy and sell alerts. And honestly, guys, I don't have a paid Discord. I don't have a paid membership. All I ask from you is smash that like button, subscribe, and if possible, share it among your friends. Bitcoin is trying really hard to smash that 50,000 resistance uh, line there. But if it smashes it, we need it to convert into a support line. If Bitcoin keeps this uptrend, what I'm looking at these days is the cryptocurrencies that are in top 50 that have not pumped yet. So that's why I am introducing EOS. I've been talking a lot about Cardano. It hit its all-time high. I don't like to buy things when they are at all-time high. That's why I'm so bullish on XRP as well. It has still not hit its all-time high. It has good solid fundamentals as well and you can watch my previous videos on it. I will leave a link in the description. So EOS at the moment is sitting around number 30. For this particular video, I was researching coins between 25 to 50 that have not pumped yet. EOS hit almost like $22 in 2018 and it's still not crossed that peak it's a good blockchain if i want to give a simple analogy think about blockchains as motorways some motorways are really fast cardano eos and many others whereas some motorways are really congested ethereum for example and if you build bridges over those uh, motorways maybe some of the traffic can flow back into the other motorway so i'm talking about erc20 converter projects from ethereum using erc20 converter can move to cardano blockchain which motorway would you like to go Do do you want to go on a motorway that has a toll tax on? Do you want to go on a motorway that is not congested? Do you want to go on a motorway which is smooth and the roads are nice? EOS. EOS is one such blockchain. It is very, very fast. It has a really interesting principle. So Bitcoin is proof of work. Ethereum is proof of work at the moment. Moving on to proof of stake with ETH 2.0. EOS is delegated proof of work. So there are some issues with proof of work, which it needs a lot of energy. Yes, more than 50% will be renewable for Bitcoin, for example. Similarly, proof of stake has many issues. EOS has a really interesting uh, system here. It is called delegated proof of stake. We don't have time to go through those details. Guys, it's only sitting at uh, $5.27 from the all-time high of about $22. There is a really good upside potential here. My target, immediate target, if Bitcoin pumps, I think it can easily cross $10. Guys, this had the longest ICO ever. They collected cool $4 billion at ICO. They had a long time to improve the blockchain and the protocol. People might say, say why is it higher than Cardano? You guys, with Cardano, the total maximum supply is 45 billion tokens. There's only less than 1 million tokens of EOS circulating at the moment. Total supply is close to 1 billion. However, there is no max supply. Now, for some people, that might be a red flag, but it is not here because all the participants on EOS IO blockchain have capped the maximum inflation to be 4%. So it will take quite a lot of years before actually EOS can surpass the Cardano blockchain uh, tokens. They are really not that different in terms of their operability, in terms of their speed, in terms of their scalability. But Cardano has pumped. I am a big Cardano bull. However, I'm also looking at opportunities elsewhere. I think this is a blockchain which has been dubbed Ethereum killer. I have always said this, that it will be collaboration of blockchains. It will not be one blockchain killing the other. It will not be competition of the blockchains. Anyways, that's philosophical. Before I go on any further, I just want to bring this uh, headline to you, which says that institutions are really bullish on crypto. For example, this 400 billion wealth manager, Newberger, Berman Green, it has sanctioned five percent of its uh, funds that can be invested in bitcoin guys there is only gonna be 21 million bitcoins and and add to that they are mayors miami for example the mayor was talking about bitcoin uh, payments many countries are talking about adopting bitcoin here is the mayor in missouri who's saying all residents will get 
1k in Bitcoin and it will be vested so they cannot sell it in five years. I think that's a brilliant idea. I think all the consoles should do that. There is a billionaire in uh, Australia who is giving Bitcoin if you get vaccinated. I don't know. I think the use cases are uh, becoming really, really interesting. Back to EOSIO. EOS is a platform that is designed to allow developers to build decentralized apps or in short, dApps. The main idea behind EOSIO is that it should be an easier platform to use as compared to other blockchains. I have said previous many times, Bitcoin is clunky, Ethereum is congested. This blockchain solves the problems of Ethereum and Bitcoin. It has greater scalability than other blockchains. It also solves that crypto trilemma. I have always saying that it's a game of three S, speed, scalability, and security. If developers are using EOSIO, there is greater security, less friction for consumers, and it also wise to unlock the flexibility and compliance aspect for enterprises. It is actually revolutionizing the supply chains as well. For example, I read through that there is one company that is using EOS blockchain to track plastics from the source of origin right up to the way it is being disposed. So climate change solution would be addressed through blockchain. Who would have thought? As I said, it's really, really early, guys. It's way off its top. I think uh, in, in my personal opinion, this is a really good investment and easily 2x or 3x from here. By the way, guys, if you like the videos, please hit that like subscribe button. It will really help the channel. I only make one video in a week. And unfortunately, that's that puts me way behind the queue in the YouTube algorithm. The thing that can really help me is if, if you do this, thanks. It's, it's fast, it's flexible, and it is forward driven. What I want to say in the end is you had blockchain 1.0, which basically ushered with the, uh, with the era of Bitcoin. Then you had blockchain 2.0 which is like ethereum and smart contracts now the latest uh, uh, energy efficient and fast and scalable blockchains are cardano and the likes of eosio this is all i have to say in this video and i'll see you next week